Alright, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to put the uh, connection valve from my hopefully soon to get done nurse tank trailer onto my sprayer so I can just hook the hose directly up to the sprayer. Uh, I went and got the pump for the trailer yesterday at Tractor Supply. There's Dad. <laughs> he was walking in here to see what I was going to do and he turned around and walked out. <laughs> But I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put this little rig together and set y'all up to watch me do it. This is what I come up with. Uh, I'm just going to screw this in the back of the tank where that port is. And it's going to have a valve. And then I got the alligator quick couplers to go on it with the pins so that way it can't come off. When I'm off. I've also got a cap to go into this end to when I'm not using a hose. But <clears throat> that's just going to screw on the back of the tank. There's Dixie. Little Dixie dipstick Dixie. <laughs> That's her name, Dipstick Dixie. <laughs> no, her name's Dixie, but I nicknamed her Dipstick because she acts like this all the time. Just crazy as she could be, running around everywhere 24 7. The only time you get her to be still is when she's got a bone. She's a purebred Australian. She is full of energy. She's the most full of energy dog I've ever had, and I've had several of these Australians. But I nicknamed her Dick Stick, Dip Stick, because she's crazy as hell. <laughs> Screw this out. Right. <sighs> yeah, that pump's just gonna plug right in the back of this and fill it up. thing is, is I wanted to put a, a angle or 90 degree on it but track supply didn't have what I needed imagine that so I got a straight one instead the reason why I wanted to put angles so that way it wouldn't get be underneath these nozzles but I'll be wearing gloves so it should be fine I shouldn't have any issues all right I got it on so that's it just a valve and a an alligator clamp. But I don't know if y'all can see what I'm talking about. The reason, one reason why I wanted to use a 90. Is, well, there's the pipe and there's my uh, spare nozzle. So I don't know if I don't think it's gonna affect it because you I mean you can see it, it's behind the arm, so it shouldn't affect the nozzle so we'll see how that will work if I have to I'll put a 90 on it and turn it completely sideways 
I originally was going to, and I'll have to go get the stuff somewhere else. But, but there it is, and it's plugged it in. But uh, this pump is a. Uh, uh, right here, here's the box. It's the cheapest one I had. It's 100. Let's see. Well, if we can find the uh, English side. Hundred fifty gallon per minute. It's a red line, one ninety or one seventy nine cc engine driven pump. So basically, you get a good pump with a crappy engine. <laughs> Two twenty nine. But to get the Briggs and Stratton engine, it was another fifty or sixty dollars. But if I'd have had to got it, I don't think my grandpa would have went with the. Uh, idea of getting it so we got what I could get and that's better than nothing so I got it I'll mount it on the trailer and then I got another one of these tanks identical to this one I'll mount it on it and I've got another valve set up just like that to mount on it uh, I've got to go get me a suction hose for the sprayer pump and for this pump to go from the tank to the pump and then I've got the hoses to run from the pump to the sprayer so I gotta get it all put together, but I'm gonna hold off on mounting all that on that trailer till right before I get ready to start spraying and need it. But plan on using this thing just about uh, the sprayer uh, tank to fill me up every day because I'm hoping that I can run a thousand gallons out a day. If I can, that's gonna really increase, uh, cut our spray in, in half of the amount of time. It takes normally I can start probably middle of March and I won't get ever get done I'll never get everything sprayed and we won't spray I need we probably need a bigger sprayer and fancier deal but well I mean this is a farm it's just the way it is you can't afford to go buy new stuff every day <laughs> if we bought everything new we needed we'd never be able to pay for anything so the way it is but uh, thank y'all for watching. Um, I'll be get the Marlis. Is uh, I like the Coulter disc. I got my disc in for it. Uh, those there they are. I got to mount those on the new ones, and then I got to make the uh, spring tensioner pieces for those. So I haven't done anything else to it. It's just been sitting here. I've been tied up trying to get everything else done. I've got to get done. I got another sprayer out here at the barn it just got here a neighbor barred from us uh it's been over there for a while i've got to go uh clean it out and get it ready to go it's a hardy it's just a 300 gallon hardy let's see if we can see it. Yep, there it is plain jane it's old school style but it's 300 gallons i wanted to mount this tank i'm gonna mount on this trailer on it but we'll see but thanks for watching. Y'all please comment, rate, and subscribe. And give me that little thumbs up. Thank you. Y'all have a good